How's it going? Back to old school here, and we have a field to harvest. We have the John Deere out here already with the gravity wagon, ready to collect the grain from the sorghum harvest. See if we can sneak through here and get started on that right away. We also have some straw to pick up and potentially more chickens to, to buy, because I do want to speed up the production of eggs on that production, on the production? On the chicken coop, you know, we got the big chicken coop last episode and I really want to get more chickens in there. So all of this food's probably going to go directly over to that coop. I don't know why coop's so hard for me to remember. It's a coop. I've known about chicken coops my whole life. But we'll go ahead and focus on this field to begin with. We'll pick up that straw as well and be productive. I do think we're going to expand some fields. We're going to focus on expanding the crop productions. Oh my goodness. Not everything's a production, Chris. We're going we're gonna to work on expanding the fields because we want more crops. We want to expand that part of the operation. And at some point, we're going to have to buy more land. But I do want to keep progressing with some of this these plans. The next thing we need to save money up for is the slaughterhouse. So far, looking pretty good. We got 188 bushels an acre going right now, about halfway through the headland. This crop's a little tough to see at least in my angle, where we've harvested, but we should be able to get it done pretty good. And one of the other things, upgrading this harvester, to get a bigger harvester, I think should be coming pretty soon also on our plans. But that straw field, the field we harvested last episode that had wheat in it, we're going to make that a little bit larger later on today. And we'll replant this field next month but i want to focus on that one this month again you know turning these over hoping we have something to harvest as often as possible that's not grass and uh go from there just about a full hopper here on the headland 99 percent what are the odds of that and i think since we're so close we'll just turn off the harvester or the turn off the header and cruise on over here and unload we'll get the wagon a little bit closer to help us out in the future but that's not bad, 101 bushels already, just from the headland. I think the chickens will dig that. And it looks like we have some strawberries to sell as well, which I kind of want those to pile up for a little bit, as well as the eggs and the honey. And we can do, you know, one selling event every once in a while. Very nice, got that all unloaded. Get this turned back on and we'll continue on our merry way. So while we finish the sorghum harvest, I wanted to test our theory on the course play. I was thinking about it a little bit more and oh, we got some stuff to move around. With the offset of this trailer, we're gonna have to adjust this course. So go ahead and load it in. We go up here. We got the only, only course we've created so far. We'll go ahead and load it and activate it. And then the offset shows negative 0.2. Let's set this to first waypoint. Let them go. And we'll see if we need to adjust the offset, if, if anything. All right, they kicked it out there. Are they going to pick up straw? I don't, it doesn't seem like they are aligned. That's the wrong way. Okay. So we'll shift it over this way a little bit more. Probably run into this tree. Offset about right there. A little bit more, maybe. That seems to do it, but we might run into a tree on the way around. And then I also, I don't think the baler or the trailer is set to actually catch these yet. Oh, it is, okay. So we'll anticipate this tree being in the way. It might not be though. Let's see. Yeah, that seems to be good. We can pick up the rest. This would be a ton of help while we finish this harvest. Grain cart is near full. Not the grain cart, but the harvester. All right, let's let them continue. We'll get back to the harvest. So with the helper taking over, they're gonna, oh, they are facing the right way, perfect. All right, let's get over there, help them unload, keep going. We can get that little strip last. Got 275 bushels so far. This is about to be completely full, so we'll help it empty out. And I wanted to get that straw picked up because right after this, I wanna get working on the next harvest and they're blocked by an object. I can't imagine what that is at that point, but we'll get this unloaded and go take a look at that and get the straw to keep going. But good amount of sorghum so far. All right, that's gonna empty. So we'll go back over, yeah, too much stuff to tap through. All right, you, my friend, are going to the sawmill. All right, just drive over the stump. All right, go ahead and get this all cleared up like so and we'll carry it on over should be light enough it's a small little twig and we do need to get some more wood over there so we can finish our fences 
So we might cut down a few more trees around here. And I already forgot where the drop-off spot is, so that'll just, uh, they'll just stay there for now. Just about a full gravity wagon here. Almost the 440 bushels that hold this holds. So let's head on over to the production. The coop, it's a coop. And drop this off, and that should be pretty good timing for the harvester to be full again. Nice path here. I do want to get some roads established. We're starting to get a little unorganized when it comes to our driving around the farm. All right, so how is this going to work? Can we go on the side? Let's go ahead and park right there. We'll hop in. We'll get the feeder opened or whatever this is called. Uh, there it goes. And can we go from the side? Okay, so only rear loading, apparently. Okay, this might get tricky. Let's try to... Oh, I didn't think about this. Will this work? No. Okay, so I guess we will put this in the silo, and then we'll use the grain truck to, uh, to yeah, do lots of trips. So we'll do that all after. Stop getting blocked. What are you doing over there? What are you, what are you even, what, what is it? I don't even know what to remove. Or is it, is it, what are you, I don't get it. Imaginary thing, blocked by object. What object? Are you anticipating this? I don't, I don't see what you possibly could be blocked by. That was a little loud, I'm sorry. Someone needs a vacation. But yeah, thank you for all the, the, the awesome, awesome comments uh, dealing with my crankiness and how relatable apparently it is and I do, I do like showing all of that, but I don't like how consistent it's been the last few times, especially on this series. I, I bit off a series that I knew was going to frustrate me with the smaller equipment and the limitation of just the older equipment. I just didn't think it would come this soon. So I think after year two, we'll take a little break. I do want to do at least three years of this playthrough. So that's the plan right now, or we might switch to only a super cut for year three. We'll see how it goes. But like anything or anybody sitting on the same save file for a while gets a little um, tiresome. And I, I don't think it's necessarily, you are blocked by imaginary things. I've never ran into this before. So that's, it's very, very strange. So we'll go about right here. We'll see, no, no, we gotta go farther. We already learned that lesson. Right, here we go. And hopefully that'll get them past that. And we gotta get back to the grain cart cause it's, uh, or the harvester cause it's almost full. I guess we have a little bit in here still. And it, it stops. Completed. Oh, you think you're done. Okay. Yeah, we didn't do a course play on this. So this is just regular AI workers. So that's understandable. Probably just uh, bust out the rest of this harvest ourselves. And hopefully the imaginary I objects uh, stop blocking the harvest or the, <laughs> the grain cart. The, oh my goodness. And hopefully the imaginary objects stop blocking the baler. Super close to giving up on this. Super close to just doing this myself. Now that, I mean, honestly, it's somewhat hilarious to me, this uh, imaginary thing that they're running into, but at the same time, it's it's pretty frustrating. A lot of things, and, and at this point, I, only, I just assume that it's due to some of the mods we're using and not necessarily the game itself. So we got to keep that in mind with our frustrations. We decided to use mods that haven't been tested by giants and haven't been approved. They're not in mod hub. And that's kind of the outcome. As you know, I've had to adjust some of these mods to work already. So you just kind of got to deal with it, right? That's the risk you take. And I wouldn't really recommend people playing this way unless they're willing to deal with the frustration and remember not to really blame giant software for, for the problems they're having because it has nothing to do with them, at least on this case. And you know what, let's shut this off. We'll just do it ourselves because that's uh, that's not working out for us. Let's get this harvest finished. And yeah, I think it's definitely that setup I, I noticed that time. All right, harvest is done. We'll drop off the rest of the grain here in the gravity wagon and then switch on over to get those. Yeah, we don't really need the food over there yet. So we can do the rest of our chores around the farm. And then after that, we can move the, the sorghum over to the, to the coop out there. And now that I'm like questioning myself, that is a food, right? That they eat? I don't know why I'm questioning myself. Yeah, sorghum. Okay. And then I don't know. Yeah, we don't have a harvest coming up next month. This field's going to be the closest, and it looks like it needs its weed sprayed. Okay. Lots to take care of today. We'll get this dropped off at the silo. And I did have a nice comment, and I apologize for who said it, but should said I should have done the silo red and... 
I somewhat agree. Uh, I didn't want to go with the same color for everything, but since it would have been a perfect, perfect match, probably should have done that. Uh, but I like the white one, so. But I appreciate the comment and somewhat agree. All right, we can go ahead and shut that off. We can't, we've learned that lesson. We'll let that finish and then we'll shut it off, which is something that doesn't need anything mechanical. That should be able to finish unloading with the tractor off, right? Am I right? Because I have to come over here. Once this is done, 45 more bushels to go, and we would have to twist this ourselves to close it. We wouldn't be sitting in the tractor anyways. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that twisted to close. Yep, yep, and there it goes. And now we can shut it off. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in here and see how many more bales we can create. And then we'll work on expanding this field. Probably have to cut down a few more trees for that. But we have four, 54 bales already. Cruise around here. Get all this cleaned up, at least a good portion of it. We're not gonna go crazy and make sure we get every little bit of straw. We'll be here all day. That lined up there, perfect. All right, let's get this all busted out. And we'll see if the Comfort King can pull it all the way. I think it can. I think we've done a full load with the Comfort King and it was fine. All right, we are 100% full here. Let's go ahead and shut it off, raise it. Um, yeah, we got it. We, that's what I did. Okay, okay, I see what I did. All right, I was on the wrong implement and I pushed B earlier, and I can't figure out which one actually, sh there we go. All right, let's go sell this. And it's hard to tell. Everything shows up as being on the front of the heart, or the tractor, as you can see in the top left, excuse me, in the top left there. And so that was causing me to push buttons, thinking I was activating the baler, I was not, blah, 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 there we go. All right, let's swing on over here. And we should be able to easily sell, well, if we can, maybe not. Maybe we'll turn around. Easy for us to say and not do. All right, let's go slow, slow. There we go. All right, let's open the menu. Make sure we're selected on the trailer. Really? Wow, I have no words. I have no words. All right, and then we'll switch to the baler and try to unload. There we go. Got those two unloaded, so we'll get those sold. Oh man, drop that. And then the other one must have sold. No, it's on there. You silly bale. And there it goes, 73 more dollars. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's clear us the way to get the plow out and make that field a little bit bigger. We got a few trees we wanna cut down, so we'll get that rolling next. And we're gonna drop this off at the wash bay for a little bit of maintenance, uh, clean it up later, and then we'll probably swing it around and see if there's anything that needs to be repaired on it later on. Let's go ahead and get in the John Deere, get the cultivator or plow. I can't remember which actual implement that one is. All hooked up and figure out which trees we wanna remove and start getting that field prepped for the next harvest here or the next planting session. There it is. Wow, I was so frustrated by the by my, my skills there. I forgot to mention we're up to $11,000 now. Pretty nice. That was about eight grand for the straw. We probably could get a, maybe a thousand or two out of what's left here, but I think we're good. So let's go ahead and buy some trees we want to cut down. I think we want to leave that big one, but that one right there we'll take. These two we'll take. Do that, do that, and then run out here. Maybe those, I'm not sure yet. All right, we'll get those moved over to the sawmill. Actually, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and take these ones. Yep, these three will do just fine. We'll probably, like I said, we wanna expand a little bit, so. All right, we'll get these moved, and then we'll do that. All right, let's get this unfolded, and then we will have to turn on allow fields. So we'll back up around onto the field, I think. Yeah, about right here and leave room for a road eventually is always what we want to do. We'll go ahead and start creeping this direction and we can have a nice road in between these two fields and enough room to keep those trees because I think it would be nice to keep some vegetation. And then also I want to keep a gap between the forest because that is tech not technically our land there. So I want to keep it to where we can have a road on our property until we buy or ex decide to expand that way. And I'm kind of just eyeing where this field is now. I think I want to go up and start jetting towards the tree in front of us. So we'll head that way now. And then we can loop back and connect the field. And I think that'll be a good, yeah, that's a good size. And we'll just hug this these existing trees here. Not really hug them. I think we've learned not to go too close to them. 
because then we're going to have to cut them down eventually. We'll leave a nice gap there and just a nice round field. I don't square my fields off. I got a couple comments about that and yes, it could be more efficient, but it doesn't look nice. I don't find it to be an attractive look of fields to just have a bunch of square fields. So that's why I go with these shapes. And then I think, yeah, let's get off the road a little bit there. And we'll respect those trees because I think those are nice to have. And cut back here and start blending into the original field like so. All right, time to bust this out. Another nice large field, or it's getting large. I wouldn't say it's large, but, you know, for us and our equipment and our implements and our harvester, it's pretty good size. We'll go ahead and queue this up to get cleaned as well. But we're going to drop the... Okay, it's driving me nuts. It's got to be a cultivator, right? Yeah, it's a cultivator. Not necessarily a plow. This is a deeper cultivator than some other ones, though. But let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll place it here. And we'll come back for that and clean it up later. But I do want to start getting lime laid down. And one of the things I don't remember if we mentioned, I'm kind of taking a liberty of getting the soil samples for free because of the issues we're having. We didn't want to use precision farming on this playthrough, but it happened. Uh, so let's go in here. We go this way and we buy this again. 4000 Yeah, we're not spending $4,000 on that. Or here, three, six, seven, five. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna pop in here and we'll add back three, six, seven, five. That's what I've been doing. Like, call it cheating. That's fine. You can call it cheating if you want. It's, it's, uh, I didn't wanna use precision farming. We got kind of stuck with it because of the way this map has some bugs in it. Not Brendan's fault. It was the original map creator that this was built off of. That's why the latest map that he created uh, was completely from scratch. So let's go ahead. I believe we can buy lime over here. Turn too much. Switch back to your steering wheel, dummy. Uh, let's open up the back. Why are my buttons not working today? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't want to unload. I want to open. Why, why not just map it to end like other things? Why not? Why not? Because I can't buy from here if I don't have the top open. I see it for a second. What is it? Alt zero? Alt. Let's unload. I don't know what I just hit. You first need to fill the tool. Yeah, I understand that. Um, that's what I'm trying to do. Where did it go if it unloaded? Oh, it went all the way over there. So I'm either just dumb or I, 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 I don't know. But I think we got it. We just cheated the system here. It's not costing us money. But the top's gonna close, yeah, yeah. Z, you're gonna map it to Z? Yep, that'll do the trick. Okay, now we're buying lime. And that's an expensive purchase, apparently, from this. Uh, I feel like that's a little more expensive than it would have been if we didn't buy it from here. But $3,200 gone. And hopefully this field can turn into a course play so that we can shift gears and move that sorghum around. Oh, this right here I wanted to show. This right here is a little uh, dynamic sky it says sell point, but you place that down and that's why the, the clouds look a little different. We got some other options, like if you hop in here, I believe it's, is it under decorations? I always forget. And let's get a good view of the sky. So yeah, we have all these other ones and they're kind of conflicting with each other. If we turn this way, um, let's go ahead and sell this one. Yep. And now it's back to the default one, but then we go like this and ah, yeah, I don't like that one that much. That looks pretty sweet. Let's use that for a little bit. Hop in here and we look back there. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, pretty cool mod. And if we look in decorations again real quick, I can show the mod name. Other, it is called Dynamic Sky. All right, let's get over here, try to do this with course play. Um, I believe that's just a rendering issue. That tree is gone out there. Let's clear the course, hop on here. We can do one headland because of it being a spreader. And we'll go first waypoint and do your thing all right let's get the uh, truck going and you're going to be in the way and unfortunately this is going to take a little bit to go back and forth but with the speed of the truck it shouldn't be too frustrating oh puppy what to look out pup look out pup Whew. all right let's go ahead and oh we have some wheat in here still let's go ahead and move the rest of the wheat first that will fit yeah we could get all of it and we'll go ahead and drive over there unload this you have a crop there so yeah see that we need roads we need roads We'll get that sorted out soon. But we still have this open, so we should just have to back right into it, or up to it, and that should allow us to unload the wheat. There we go. And they have 6,000 liters, so after this, they're gonna have a good amount. We only have 61 
chickens. They take straw, but we're not going to do that because I don't really want manure from chickens. Let's see how things are looking in here. Yeah, good amount. All right, do your thing. Yeah, that'll be good for now. We'll keep the sorghum in the silo. Let's go ahead and close the close everything up so chickens can't escape. Should be okay, though. That's just safekeeping, right? All right, let's get back home. Let's see how lime's doing after that. I think we're going to put a crop that grows quick and we can just turn some profit on. Since we do have a couple fields right now that will go towards the chicken's food already. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, let's see. This can just sneak in right here. We need to get a little more organized. And I think we're about one shed short of what we need. So we might need a little bit more storage, maybe a bigger one. While that's doing that, I'm going to use the wood we have to add a little more fences. Again, guys, this is 100% role playing that we're using the material on the property. So you can see this is as far as we've gotten the fence this direction. So we're getting a good little outline of the property. We can see how much farther we can extend these fields if we want to. We'll need to put some gates in eventually. I'm not doing that yet until we figure out exactly where we're going to want them. And you can see a nice little elevation change. And I think we can get our money back for this thing now. We don't need that. So we'll get our 14 bucks back here. And then if we cruise up top, it goes all the way over to the chicken coop. No weeds here. Oh, there are weeds. Yeah, so we got some weeds to take care of next. But if we go over, yeah, some more terraforming needs to be done over here to improve things. Uh, this one we'll keep until we round it out. Yeah, all right. Oh, we're stuck now. We got to turn around. Little elevation change there. It raised the fence when it raised the ground, which we might end up fixing. I don't really like that. But let's head back, see how they're doing with lime. Should be done, or close to being done. And... It looks like we had an offset wrong. It looks like maybe we had an offset wrong there. We'll, we'll figure that out. All right, we'll park by the house here. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll pull a brand in here. Yep, park it up like that. All right. And then let's grab, yeah, the Oliver and the sprayer and get some weed sprayed. They finished their job. So once we get this job started, we can then switch over and finish the lime. Didn't realize this. So what do we have here? We have some barley growing, and I believe out here we have wheat. So yeah, we'll do some oats. They grow fast, so that should help us get some just some money coming in. Do that. First waypoint on your way. And then here we'll go ahead and turn this back on, and we'll go ahead and finish spreading some lime around here. Get all the spots that were missed. I'll have to check what was wrong with the settings there. For next time but not a ton we'll have to do ourselves so they got a good job did a good job for us i have a feeling that offset yeah that that six meter offset was from the previous setting even though it was a different tractor that's interesting but yeah if we get this set back to zero there shouldn't be any offset here because uh the center is the center so there we go that's what caused that problem you know kind of silly it would have made sense to start with the front entrance with fences but we started with the back because who knows we didn't think through it that's why and i'm glad that was enough lime we got about 16 percent left here in the hopper oh i guess we could close it again and that'll do it for this field we'll go ahead and check on the the weeds i think we're gonna hold off till next month to plant this because we don't have a lot to do next month so that's that's why this needs washed and clean too we need to do some maintenance we need to do some maintenance. We'll put this over here and stage that. When we get done with our work for the day, we'll go ahead and do all the maintenance on it. Just about out, had a feeling. We'll go ahead and stop this. I'll take over. We'll go refill this and hopefully we can finish this field. It might be time to start looking at a sprayer with more capacity too. Now, will this let us refill herbicide here? Or are we gonna have to buy herbicide? Cause this one, I don't think you can open. It just respects it. Nice. So that was $700. Go ahead and unfold here and get some more weeds sprayed. Perfect job for the Oliver. Yeah, kill those weeds. Yeah, and I shifted to taking care of the fields that we already have planted because they're more important than the field that we want to plant next. So we do have that other field that we could lime as well. We might get two planted next episode because we could do two different crop types that will grow at different paces. And I think that would be wise. So that'll be the plan for June as we get to the halfway point of year two there in the next episode. Barely missed that one. We'll have to loop around. Hopefully we have enough product left. We'll shut it off here. 
and then we'll turn it back on to get this weed. And then I think we need to fill it back up and do this field to our left. Um, does it have weeds? Probably just small baby ones at this point. It does, yeah, it has a good amount. So that's gonna take a little bit of time. That's a big field. Definitely gonna look into some newer implements or a bigger sprayer very soon. Another 700 bucks there. Come in here, yep. I think we are gonna let this one go on a course. And everything looks good there. And we're gonna turn it on to purchase. I think that's down here. Um, where is that setting? Where is that setting? Go ahead and purchase these for now. And that will allow them to spend our money, but uh, get it done without having to stop. And we'll shut that off which is quite a bit more expensive. Usually I feel like there's something wrong there. So what I've been doing is setting the course play to zero since they're spending so much money. I don't think it's a realistic amount. Like when they get done, it's gonna be well more than $2,000 probably. We'll play around with it. All right, let's get some of this stuff cleaned up so we can put it away. Whoops, go ahead and grab that. Spray this down. The Comfort King all taken care of. And the Baylor, it's pretty dirty as well. You know, maintaining your stuff. We got to keep it clean and it'll break down less often. And it just looks nicer, right? Is that as clean? Yeah, I think it's just some paint damage there. All right, let's get this one put away. Sneak this in right next to the setup there. And then we'll get the rest of this stuff cleaned up, which I guess would be kind of weird to like, let's unload that. We'll put the rest of the lime in here. We'll have to remember that's there. Got some lime and fertilizer and herbicide and seeds there. All right, let's get the John Deere in the wash bay and the spreader yeah pretty filthy pretty filthy super 600 has been doing a great job though this is one of those things that needs a home like we're running out of some spaces here get this organized a little better all right got that all cleaned off as well and this one i think we'll leave outside i think yeah we'll put it right next to this barn over here for now we're running out of space probably organized better but keeping that pull through there available for us is kind of messing us up so maybe it wasn't the best design to begin with. See that there. And the John Deere, I believe we can park in the maintenance bay for now. Yep, got room for it there. Perfect, all right. Let's see, in this, we're gonna take some liberties. We're gonna pick this up. We're gonna put it in here. Like so. Hi, let's look at your buttons so we can remember. Pet R. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, come go home nice okay so you can have them sit somewhere yeah i knew that that's pretty cool all right let's check on our weeds getting sprayed doing a great job there way to go brandon all right and that's all the time we have for this episode we'll get these weeds sprayed we'll pick up next episode with taking care of the sorghum field as well as putting oats in the new big field that we created i'm socks way up thanks for hanging out i'll see you on the next one Met your eyes, raise a sharp, cover through the crowd.